So this year, assuming I get this video out before 2022, I worked night shift from the beginning of February to mid-August, so about seven months-ish, and I wanted to make a video detailing my experience being nocturnal. At this point, I've made like three different scripts for this, and finally decided that the best way to tell you all about working night shift is by dividing all the points into lists of pros and cons. I'm going to start with the pros, because that's a much shorter list than the cons, unfortunately, but before I begin, for the purpose of making this as scientifically viable as I can, I want to give you the specific circumstances of me working night shift. First of all, I would work 12-hour shifts from 6pm to 6am as a nurse, and no, I don't hate myself. But what I was doing doesn't actually matter, and these points I'm going to go through will apply to any job. Normally, I'd get up at about 4 p.m. and go to bed at 8 a.m., so with that in mind, let's get started. Starting with the pros. Higher pay, obviously. And I'm pretty sure this applies to all jobs, unless you're like a sleep study specialist or maybe a prostitute, I don't know. Number two. No time is too late for you. Going out with friends, having a movie night, no problem at all. You're basically starting at noon with your sleep schedule. You'll never be the wet noodle that has to go home first because they've got to get to bed so they can get up early in the morning. In the popular sitcom How I Met Your Mother, they say nothing good happens after 2am. Well, that's not true for you. The night shift amended version is nothing good happens after 9am, so just be in bed by then. Number three, no traffic. This is more my personal opinion because I despise traffic, but when you work night shift, for the majority of your waking hours, there are virtually no other cars on the road. As I said before, I'm a nurse, and I work with some of the rudest elderly customers in the world, which I am perfectly cool with. I'm super laid back at work. But put me behind a sweet old lady going five under in the left lane, and I am ready to throw hands! Yeah, let's go! You want some of this? I'll be, I'll, I'll be taking care of you at work when I'm done with you! That's why I like Night Shift. All the safe driving old ladies were in bed about four hours after I got up and no longer on the roads. And that's it. That's my list of good things about working Night Shift. Let's get on to the cons. First up, we got alone. After everyone has gone to bed, you are alone, and you're not gonna get any social interaction for the majority of your waking hours. If I wasn't working, I'd be spending about six to eight hours a day, night without any other human interaction, and I won't lie, it kind of bummed me out sometimes. And that's why I bought friends, specifically the Sea Rabbit pocket sized, bite sized keychain plushies. Bet you didn't expect a merch plug right in the middle of the video, idiot. I got like a KFC bucket full of them, lots of friends. Instantly cured my loneliness. That's right, you can have happiness and work night shift. Or if you're hungry, these suckers are like two bites each. Cover them in ranch, absolutely delicious. Link in the description. Number two, shopping and appointments are impossible. I was getting up at about 4 p.m. Lots of places close at six, most at eight. Either way, it was super hard to get any shopping done. I'd always be showing up right before places were closing, and if I was at the grocery, they were always restocking the shelves because I was there so late. It was the same deal with any sort of appointments, whether it was the dentist or just getting a haircut. Those places will take you at about 5pm at the latest, which was obviously difficult for me since I would wake up about an hour before that. Number 3. Dark. Dark. Number four, sleeping during the day. For me, this was really hard, but this is more of a personal thing because I'm really sensitive to light when I'm trying to sleep. If I'm going to bed, I want it so dark that I can't see the hand in front of my face. Only with the combination of blackout curtains and an eye mask was I able to fall asleep. Also, pro tip, do not go outside and enjoy the warmth of the morning sun on your face right before going to sleep. I did that once, and my brain was like, oh, oh nice, it's time to be wide awake since, since there's sunlight all over my face. You see the sun, I see the sun, everyone and their sister, they, they see the sun, which means it's time to be up and be productive, and I was lying awake for about three hours after that. Number five, special events mean sacrificing sleep, and usually a lot of it. 
By special events, I mean like family lunches, camping with friends, anything that you'd need to be on a normal sleep schedule for. I remember one time I went to a cabin for a few days with some friends. I ended up staying up for about 30 hours straight because I left directly after a 12 hour shift at work and stayed up till about 9 p.m. Well, why didn't you just get some sleep? What would be the point of going to a cabin with your friends if you're just going to be sleeping? It wasn't pleasant, but I opted to forcibly reset my sleep schedule, and that's how it was for any fun friends or family events. Number six, your body is not made to be nocturnal. And this brings me to what I think is the worst thing about night shift, that you have to go against your body's natural sleep cycle. I was not born in the darkness. I was not molded by it. I merely adopted the dark when I started working night shift. But for the 23 years of my life prior to night shift, I was accustomed to being productive during the day and tired at night. That is why it was a bad idea for me to do something as reckless and stupid as basking in the gentle warmth of the morning sun right before bed. Going along with that, your brain doesn't want to go to sleep during the day, but it also doesn't want to be productive at night. This was something I realized about three months into my night shift experience. Doing anything productive at night felt like a battle against every fiber of my being. In particular, it was hard to be creative at night, which made making videos really hard. I'd just kind of sit there, couldn't think of funny lines for a script, couldn't muster up the energy to make a lively voice recording. Every cell in my body just wanted to sit and watch TV instead of drawing. And if I did end up writing a script or recording some audio, I'd usually just end up trashing it because I didn't think it was any good. That was the worst part about working night shift for me. Also, bonus negative point number seven, don't even try dating. It's not going to happen unless you find someone that also works night shift, anyone else, and you're awake for six to eight hours before they go to bed. And who would want to start a relationship under those circumstances? And finally... A neutral point. We'll call it 7.5. You are no longer constrained by societal meal norms. There is no so-called breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Only meals 1, 2, and 3, and you can eat whatever you want for any of them. Your meal number 1 is other people's dinner time. Everyone is asleep during meal number 2. And meal 3 is when you'd normally eat breakfast, but that doesn't really apply to you because you're about to go to bed. So there's your all-inclusive guide to night shift. Despite how bad I make it seem, this is just my experience. It works perfectly well for some people, and maybe you're also an abnormal freak of nature. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. Remember, I have cute little mini sea rabbit plushies for sale on my store. Link in the description. And also, maybe follow me on my socials, specifically Instagram, where I am actually very active, unlike Twitter. Anyway, thanks, bye.